Animal populations globally are in decline and our impact on the environment has been severe. We estimate that populations of vertebrates have declined by 58% in the last 40 years and species are increasingly at risk of extinction. However, for many parts of the world, we have very little information about the species that live there. This may be because they live in remote and inaccessible locations or because the species themselves are hard to detect. Here at the Zoological Society of London, in the Institute of Zoology, we are pioneering new technologies to study and understand the status and behaviour of animals around the world. We are using specially adapted cameras to survey deep sea floors off the coast of Greenland, camera traps to detect and monitor species in tropical forests, and tracking devices to monitor the movement and behaviour of sharks in the British Indian Ocean Territory. These new technologies help us understand how biodiversity and animal behaviour are changing and enable us to design and implement data-driven conservation measures to protect and conserve species around the world. Join us at the Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition to see and handle some of the cutting-edge equipment we are using in remote locations across our planet. Discuss first-hand experiences of life in the field and discover how our work is helping us to better understand the natural world. Since we exhibited at the Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition in 2018, we've made some really exciting progress monitoring animals and habitats that are experiencing widespread threats in an increasingly unstable environment. We have helped to advance our understanding of how marine protected areas function and how technology can help us manage and protect large areas of remote open ocean habitat. In particular, we have continued to track animals within the British Indian Ocean Territory and have now defined key movement corridors for vulnerable reef sharks between different islands and atoll systems. Through a combination of acoustic and satellite tracking, we have established the extent to which large mobile species from manta rays and tuna to sailfish and sharks reside within the British Indian Ocean Territory Marine Protected Area. In a recent study, for example, we showed that the uh, two species of sharks common to the reef ecosystems of biot, the grey reef shark and the silver tip shark, differ in their susceptibility to illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing activity. And they do so because of differential movement strategies adopted by these two species. Tagging of reef manta rays within the biot marine protected area revealed surprising variation in individual movement patterns, with some individuals remaining highly localised and resident, while others conducted large migrations of more than 200 kilometres. Knowledge of where these wandering giants reside, where they aggregate, and how they use the water column from dive depth data retrieved from our satellite tags is crucial for the future protection of a species already listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. Greenland has an extraordinary and diverse marine environment. We have been continuing our research here, exploring the rarely seen habitats of the deep sea. By using a purpose-built low-cost video sled with lights, lasers and a camera, we have been able to recover images from as much as one and a half thousand meters below the surface. One of our most exciting discoveries is this delicate garden of cauliflower corals at depths between 300 and 600 meters. This soft coral garden covers a 486 kilometer squared area, equivalent to 90,000 football fields. Here, we find as many as nine coral colonies per square meter. This structurally complex, vulnerable marine ecosystem supports diverse and abundant life, but it is sensitive to disturbance from human activities, such as commercial fishing. We are currently working with the government and industry in Greenland to share this new research and ensure that this important but vulnerable habitat is protected. All these technologies help us gather data on animals that live in remote and extreme environments and build a picture of biodiversity trends around the world. The latest Living Planet report shows that globally monitored populations of birds, mammals, fish, reptiles and amphibians declined in abundance by 60% on average between 1970 and 2014.
Population data were also used to develop a new global indicator, the Forest Specialist Index, to analyze trends in forest specialists, species that depend entirely on forests. This research found that vertebrate populations in forests halved on average between 1970 and 2014, and that exploitation is a major threat for these species, as well as loss of habitat. The study also found that a change in forest area isn't always a good indicator of the status of biodiversity in this environment, and that to safeguard our forests into the future, we also need to look below the canopy. But what about the overlooked species? Invertebrates, such as snails, spiders and butterflies, make up the majority of species on Earth, but we often lack population data for them. While we can't estimate population trends over time for this species, we can still carry out assessments of their extinction risk, using a scale from low risk or least concern to high risk or critically endangered. Speaking of putting remote wildernesses on the map, last year we helped our collaborators from Queen's University Belfast and the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology to assess the latest knowledge on the scaly foot snail, a species with an iron-infused armor living in a unique habitat, this culminating in the first ever extinction risk assessment for a species endemic to hydrothermal vents, surely one of the last wildernesses remaining. But for how long? And will deep sea mining change the underwater landscape for the scaly foot snail and other hydrothermal vent species? With our work at the Zoological Society of London, we continue to investigate the causes of biodiversity loss, a phenomenon that has serious implications for human well-being and valuable ecosystem services, from providing food and clean water to carbon storage. To keep up to date with our most recent research, you can follow at ZSL Science on Twitter. <laughs>